welcome to Amateur Wino. This is an interactive series about enjoying wine, learning about wine, and drinking well without breaking the bank. In this series, I'll talk about how to taste wines, how to shop for wines, how to pick wines off a wine list, and I'll also turn you on to some nifty gadgets, some great food and wine pairings, and other ways that you can maximize your enjoyment of wines. Also, I'll be reviewing some wines, let you in on some of my favorite picks, and give you some tips on how to become confident in picking wines yourself. So, let's get started. All you really need to get started is a bottle of wine, a corkscrew, and a wine glass. So let's taste. The first wine I'll taste today is the 2006 Sebastiani Sonoma Coast Pinot Noir from California. If you've got some wine at home, especially some Pinot Noir, Grab some and taste along with me. You'll see on the label the name of the winery, the type of grape that's in it, and where it's from. Usually this information is on the label for most wines from countries outside of Europe. The labels can get more complicated with European wines, and we'll get to that a little bit later. Opening a bottle of wine is pretty easy in general, but here are a few gadgets I like to use to make it a little bit easier. This is what's called a foil cutter, and you can use it to cut the top of the foil capsule off a bottle of wine. This is how the foil cutter works. You just squeeze it like this, turn the bottle, and voila, the top comes right off. Next, here's one of my favorite corkscrews. It's made by a company called Screwpull. It's compact and super easy to use. All you have to do is place it over the bottle and turn. The corkscrew brings the cork up by itself. No need to pull any levers or use any brute strength. And there you go. You're probably used to seeing wine geeks do all sorts of things like swirling and sniffing and even slurping when they taste the wine. And that's great. You can do all of those things and it can help maximize your enjoyment of the wine. But I'm also a big supporter of saying there are no rules. Keep it simple. Just pour the wine and taste it. Be sure to take enough into your mouth so that you can coat your entire tongue with some wine. The reason that you do this is because taste buds on different parts of your tongue taste different things. Saltiness, sourness, bitterness, you detect them on all different parts of your tongue. When you get a little bit more advanced, you can taste wines methodically. The first thing you'll want to do is look at the color of the wine. The best way to do this is to tilt the glass against a white background and you can see the colors of the wine. Next, try to describe what color you would say that the wine is. I would probably describe this wine as being kind of a ruby color, but you can get creative. You'll also notice that around the rim of the wine, the color gets a bit lighter. The rim of the wine is a good area to check and see if you can see that the wine is aging. In a wine that's aged, the rim of the wine will start to turn a little bit brownish or orange. The next thing you might want to do is swirl the wine. The reason that you swirl the wine is that it allows the wine to get more air in it. And you can do it two different ways. You can do it on the table like this, or you can pick it up and swirl it yourself like this freehand. As you swirl, the alcohol evaporates and it carries the aromas of the wine up to your nose. Over time with more air the wine will start to breathe and open up and more of its flavors will come out. The next thing you can do after that is you can actually add more air to it inside your mouth by taking in a little air as you taste the wine. It's a little bit kind of like slurping the wine but it's more just taking in a little air as you do, as you have it in your mouth. I 
I know it doesn't seem that elegant, but at a wine tasting, a lot of people will do this. It really brings out the flavor of the wine in your mouth. So thanks for joining me for the first episode of Amateur Wino. I hope you got to taste some wine along with me. And don't forget to have that wine with food. That's the way it's meant to be. It's not supposed to be a drink that you have just alone. It gets, almost every wine gets better with food. So go ahead and enjoy those wines, have it with some food, and let me know what you think of the show and of the wines that you've tasted. Until the next episode, cheers.